He's drinking beer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about I to am. steal one. It's gonna make my so feel we're under here. this. Uh, is, is this a uh, rally? Uh, this is cross? life under the big top. Oh, oh it is kind of rally nuts. cross. <laughs> um, yeah, it's for their rally team, and uh, it works out really nice. I mean, it, they, they have all this stuff, so we might as well use it when we have all the cars. Right. And, I mean, and all the people here, dirt so. racers used to be on flatbeds; they had to go up yep. somehow. I mean, this yeah. is the new pit setup. Yeah, it, it is. When you're doing multiple teams, like if one car, a one car team, that would it would be extremely stupid to do something like this. But when they already have it for all their rally teams, and I think they run three or four rally teams out of out of this trailer at all their events, so um, they're not rally cross racing right now. So we figured we'd uh, load her up and and bring her down here to Florida for. Uh, for a whole week. Well, and he got third, Arpin did, and he's used yeah. to, uh, you know, he was a pretty heavy hitter in the modified ranks good. before very he good. went to uh, Rally Cross. One of, I think he's one of the only, uh, I think he, he might be the only guy that's won every single race uh, at Speed Weeks one year. But not the only American because he's Canadian. He's Canadian. Yeah, yeah that's so right, that's uh, right. touche. Yeah. Um, anyway, talk, talk about this uh, race tonight. It was uh, interesting. Well, like, Streaming had, it, had the better car at the beginning. Yeah, he got he really rolled that start and was able to come down the hill and get going. And um, uh, with our history together, I didn't want to sail up in there and just run in the side of him lap one on a, a prelim night. But um, he got out there in clean air, and then once we caught lap traffic, I could move around and I was watching my signal guy and I could move around, um, you know, in lap traffic there. And, and he got hung up one time, and it just takes the, the smallest uh, uh, mistake. And uh, I got a good run down the back stretch and got alongside of him and then went in there and just parked it in three and, and got up off, off the four and, and got out front. And then the caution came out uh, not too much longer after that. And um, our car was really good after after the caution. I was a little worried that Nick was right behind me there, but they said we pulled away from him. So the dirt's so much different now than it was when uh, we came down here. New surface years. now. Yeah, it's just uh, it's um, totally different the way it acts and what it does. But um, Looks like it acts better. I know the sprint it races cars. better, I think. The sprint cars after the B, it looked like it was going to go rubber quick. Um, and then it really didn't go rubber on the top. Very yeah. tops where they were. Um, so about seven to go or so. Yeah. Um, with y'all, it seems like y'all ain't got the wing. Obviously, the momentum yeah. doesn't carry as great, so you can't stick the outside yeah. like they can. Y'all are rolling the bottom and the middle like Stremmy seemed to be the only one really making it work. Yeah, Stremmy could roll the middle way better than I could. And, and uh, I was trying to hunt that little bit of moisture coming off of of two especially but then when i moved up and started trying to roll that it was just it started to clean up there it gets it, you know we dust the track off there and it gets cleaned up it really didn't rubber until the right at the end coming off of four but uh it was just clean you know where we could you know just cleaned up a lane and it was way better to be in that lane yeah it's weird how new dirt does that i think people underestimate when you got old dirt all those years of rubber yep. getting tilled up in it there it's just waiting to get reignited yeah um obviously success in the modifieds we mentioned Strimmy. And uh, Nick Hopman was right there. You got, you know, Longhorn, Elite, and Lethal, and, and yeah. then uh, Lethal right yep. there. Uh, Jason Hughes, Texas guy, USMTS guy, picks yep. up his first ever third year here. Yep. Um, talk about that. That's You know, when you're That's racing cool. modifieds, it seems like it's a manufacturer battle in this it chassis is, it war. Is, and especially a Mooresville chassis uh, battle and chassis war. Um, and you debuted this thing like a beast at Charlotte last yep. year. Destroyed them. Yep, yeah. We were really good there. Um yeah, with all of the three of them being in right out of uh, Charlotte area there in Mooresville, you know, Stremmy, Nick, and, and, and myself uh, with Longhorn, and um, it's cool to see us come down here and be able to have friendly competition. I mean, we've had it to where it was unfriendly, but uh, it's it's way better. Speaking to, of Charlotte. Yeah, exactly. It all goes down in North Carolina, I guess, right? It it's that winnings tax. It does. That's it what does. it is. It pisses you off. It's <laughs> that tax that's coming after your winnings. Exactly. It pisses exactly. you off, so it's like, come on, man. Yeah, and... Uh, so it's it's way better nights like the night where all three of us can race and not. Uh, uh, it doesn't make for maybe as good of a story, but uh, for us the teams, it's it's way better. But comes uh, Monday night, uh, it's going to be going to be interesting between uh, between all the top running guys here, and we're going to keep tuning on her and hopefully be good for that uh, five thousand. And then tomorrow, I think they start going to one A main. They're going to run four A mains tomorrow. Four, for okay. Points. Okay. Which I don't even know where I'm at in points because I missed the first night. Um, so I don't know where first and the third puts me, but uh, we'll figure that out and go with see what main we get into. And speaking of Monday, late malls. It looked like at East Bay you did not have a good go. Yeah, we were absolutely at it terrible. at all. Uh, the Rocket chassis and Cornet Motors are, are obviously both of them are great, um, great cars and great motors. It's just uh, didn't really fit with me. I think it was more of a driver issue. I've driven Longhorns my whole life, so um, 
we made some moves to make the switch to, to Longhorns with uh, Craig Sims, PCC Motorsports. Um, so we're going to unload our, our Longhorn and uh, Clements motor uh, here on Monday, leading World of Outlaw points. And uh, So there's fun. a lot of pressure on you then in this late uh, model. Hey, I mean, hey, you're yeah, asking for the change if, if you don't perform now that the change well, has been we done. Already, we were already here earlier this year and run third and one. So well, I understand. I understand. Yeah, with but that car. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's... Obviously, if we make a big change like that, these things ain't cheap, and um, to get them, get the cars and go out, there's going to be some shuffling with money and, and trying to make everything work. So, yeah, it's uh, myself and Vinny Guglielmo, my crew chief, and, and the whole team, and, and Craig, and Charlie Donaldson, and uh, G-Style Transport, D-Man, everybody that helps out, Bill Stein Shocks, just, um, we got to make this thing work. I, I mean, I ain't having no fun running around 20th and not making the show. So, there was it was almost 80 late models though at East Bay in your defense. Yeah, it was the, some stack fields, but was, it wasn't a it Kyle, was, it wasn't your Kyle Strickland exactly, performance. I was watching was, you in the heat yeah, race. Yeah. It was like, what's and going I was on here? Miserable. I mean, it just it just wasn't having fun. And the rocket cars are running good, just not the combination that we had. So, um, you, instead of, of take the time to you yeah, know, a month I to mean, figure it, it out, it, let's it, just go to something that works. To me, we know what works. You know, Benny and I and, and the whole crew, we we know we can have. Um, you know, our motors and the Longhorn chassis and Bilstein shocks, they, they put a lot of time and effort into that to make it work. We know it works. We have a whole notebook for that. So um, we're going to go back to what we know and see how she works out. I do think it's interesting how Lucas Oil, the Rookie of the Year battle, is between two of probably the best modified drivers yeah. Yeah. in the country. I mean, Ricky Thornton's path was a little different than yours. Yeah. He is in the IMCA, but he was beating USMTS guys with a crate car at one point. Yeah. Uh, you versus Ricky Thornton Jr. in this Lucas Oil Rookie of the Year deal. Yeah, and we got to get things turned around if we want to compete with Ricky because he's, you know, he's rolling off of what he had last year, and, and his car was really good. Him and TC are doing a great job. They and picked up the win at Bubba, I believe. Yeah, and yeah. we're buried in points. I think I'm, I'm leading World of Outlaw points, and I'm not even running the World Outlaw Tour. I'm like 30th in Lucas points, and Ricky's, I think, 7th or something. Now, so, is that something that you could sway your mind uh, by the end of the I week? Mean, we, race, we race for money, so... If we're doing really well in one and not so good in the other, then uh, it's up to the car owners and sponsors to make make something work. So um, whatever we got to do, I mean, I'm like I said, with the, the, you're not announcing you're leaving Lucas. No, no. absolutely no. no, no, no. We're gonna plan on running Lucas, but um, one thing that does conflict is the Bristol race. I mean, we can't go to the Bristol race because of the Lucas races. So, but Lucas does such a great job of promoting all of us, and they really helped me a lot get to where I'm, I'm at and help me get the ride that I got. So. Um, I respect a lot of that. Um, it's not as simple as, uh, you know, we're doing really well in one and, and struggling in the other. So we'll see how all next week goes, and after speed weeks, we'll just regroup and, um, and move forward. How big of a deal is that Bristol uh, race? I mean, I really want to go to Bristol for, for sure. But And you got a uh, open mod and a late model, or more yeah, than I mean, that? I, I can run this modified, I can run my late model, and then I've been approached to with truck rides and cup rides and. Um, so yeah, I mean, well, would I mean, would race. you would you say when those cup cars and truck cars go to a dirt track, it's going to drive more like a cup car than a dirt car? Uh, I'm sure, but I mean, I you watch so. you watch some late models, dirt late models get on asphalt tracks. It looks like Tokyo Drift. It's yeah. the cars that are driving more so than the tracks. Yes, yes, exactly. And, and I think that it's going to take a lot of the things out of the equation, but it's still equipment's still going to matter. You know, when I drove. Um, the two truck races, we had, um, you know, a very unfunded team the first year and um, didn't run very well. And then we had a very, very good equipment the second year and uh, should have won the dang thing. But, um, Probably the only oddball with the Eldora race was Bobby Pierce that one year. Yeah, and they had the racetrack really good for Bobby. Mm -hmm. and they had a top where you could hammer it the year. But that didn't struggled. help their $5 million rent ride kids. So yeah. they had to make it. To, we can't have that our is, rich that, kid that, that, money that, go that out very, the window. We got to make them look better than they are. Oh, true. I'm about to get pissed. Yeah, <laughs> Change, very keep true. going. So, I mean, what I'd like to do is I'd like to run the two truck races and good equipment and, and feel like I can go there and have a shot to win. That's what I would much rather do that than go run one cup race, you know. So. I just think, you know, these uh, cup NASCAR vehicles on dirt really ain't going to change them much. It's going to be like it's a... It's going to be tough. I mean... It's going to be tough. But you ain't going to have them going in there and backing it in there and pulling no, the left absolutely. front in the ground. No, they're you not going to do that at all. I just hope that in a few years people don't think that NASCAR created heat races and four wide salutes. Because, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's getting close. I it's it's getting I real close. The, the ignorance. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a real bad perception. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. 
I may steal one of your beers. Will you be mad at me? <laughs> I won't be mad. They're not even mine. They're they're Lowen Bros. So. No, I can't take it then. Yeah. I can't do it. All right. <laughs> they're your your winner in the Longhorn, Kyle Thanks, Kyle Strickler. It.